I did something, guys. I did something. You know, recently I did a video on the Order 1886. You know that I did that. Um, I've I've always said I thought the Order 1886 was just heartbreaking in a lot of ways. It was such a waste of potential. It could have been something so great. And I I like having little pieces of gaming history. You know, I like possessing that. I appreciate it. So I hopped on eBay. And... I happened to hop on eBay at the precise moment within like eh, 20 minutes that an individual had posted something um, that I just couldn't, I just couldn't turn away as a collector. So I got <sighs> the, uh, the collector's edition. Or the premium edition is what they call it of the order 1886 original box it's in surprisingly good condition <laughs> like i'm a little i'm a little surprised we're gonna see if everything is in here that was listed um but like i i i've been keeping an eye out for this and i have not found it anywhere and i happen to hop on the one day it was posted down idiot thank you for the sub my friend thank you appreciate you but, like, the case is in very good shape. We'll get to that. Yes, move aside Hogwarts Legacy. Look at this, all the stuff in here. Um, I already have the Steelbook. Um, digital vouchers with different outfits and stuff. Soundtrack. Behind-the-scenes footage. Coat of arms stickers. Art book. And then the big statue. I'm mostly interested in it for the statue. We're going to see what's here. Um, <laughs> Serial Sober. Oh, I get you, my friend. I'm also a little, little sketched out. So let's see what this is like. Let's see. How do I... It's okay, I'm a professional. Would it be so funny if I just tore the box accidentally after all that? Okay, okay. Come here, my princess. Come here, my pretty. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy. Fancy schmancy. Oh, it did come with the steel book. Steel book. It's cold to the touch with the vouchers. I don't know what this guy was doing with this. It must have been like sitting in his garage and he forgot that he bought it. Like insane. This thing. So at the time it launched was i'm sure quite expensive i'm not sure exactly how much i got this thing for a hundred bucks um which for some people like a hundred bucks for the collector's edition of a game that like was widely considered to be a failure is insane to do that but i like owning this little piece of gaming history um the box is like sort of falling apart the glue on the side of the box is so old that it's degraded and isn't holding a stick anymore. This is a little weird. It's a book. Um, Sasha, thank you. Thank you for the sub. Two months. Two months streak. Look at that. Um, but it's it's weird because -wee. it's <laughs> wooey. It's an art book, but part of it is is this a holding case for the uh, oh it's metal. This little vial you might recognize if you played the game. So that's kind of fun. Put that there. And then these are pages of the little art book with like little paintings and stuff in it. That's cool. Character designs. We'll set that there. Let's get to the money maker though. Oh lordy. I don't know if this is fitting in the display case, guys. <laughs> I don't know if that's fitting. Look at that. Look at that. That thing is pretty insane. Like custom painted. He's got blood on his teeth and fingers. 
like that's just that's pretty badass <laughs> like and you know hogwarts legacy has a book <laughs> they have this and a cardboard box and that's it for 350 bucks but like this this little piece of gaming history right here how cool is that i just like it and i like i said i've been looking for this for a long time and I finally found it listed by some guy. I don't know how or why he still had this laying around. Like, original packaging and everything. But, like, that's that's pretty badass. I wonder if this angle shows it any more clearly. Like, that's just, that's just sick. So. I mean, again, values in the eye of the beholder. For some people, this is like one of the stupidest things I could possibly spend money on. Um, but if I had to put money on it, I would guess as the years go by, the Order 1886 will be sitting and thinking, you know what? That game was way better than... or uh, that, that game had so much potential and that was an important game for the time. Um, so... Yeah, well, and this one, like like I said, I popped on and I found this listed for like a hundred bucks. And that was at the time that like everything else, every other premium edition that they had this for um, was listed for like $800 and $600. So this guy just posted it. I jumped on it. I was very, very lucky that I found it when I did. And like, look at that. It's, it's balanced so that Galahad is like hanging off the back. As he's leaping away from our little werewolf friend. That's just sick. And I, I don't... We're gonna Maybe this will go up here with the Legos. Because I don't think he's fitting in my display case. But, uh... Oops. <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. 